Hey everyone, let's work on our isolation isometrics in the rib cage area. So just moving the rib cage without moving the rest of the body. Um, this is a small isolated movement, so we need to be in our first position. Now our first position, our feet are close but not touching because we're gonna not shift weight. We're gonna keep the weight on both feet simultaneously. Remember your feet are your roots, so plant your roots and use your legs like the tree trunk. In this isolation isometric drill exercise, you will be feeling your quadriceps and your calf muscles, anterior and posterior. You will feel them. So just get rooted and grounded. Let your leg muscles support these rib cage isolations. And so you're in your first position, weight equally distributed, Align your hips, knees, and feet. Feet forward as much as possible like they're in skis. They're not touching, nor are the knees. And then you're gonna bend your knees softly, then tilt the pelvis or just straighten it. So you're engaging your abdominal core muscles and back muscles. You're rooted and grounded from the waist down and you're lifted a little bit, but don't hyperextend and throw your shoulders back. Okay, so now we're gonna begin just by lifting the rib cage up, then down. Up, down, up, down. I'm taking it from the back latissimus dorsi muscles. So if you go from a slouch, you can lift, down, lift, but don't pull the shoulders forward or back. Keep the shoulders in neutral. Your, your movement is coming mostly from the back latissimus dorsi, the, the wings. Okay, so you're gonna be in this grounded, rooted position and you're lifting up, 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 chest up, 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 and normal breathing. So don't use your breath to do it. Now we're gonna down, lift down, lift down, lift down, lift down, lift down, lift down. See, I'm not moving my shoulders, I'm not bouncing up and down on my knees and I'm not using my pelvis. The pelvis is a neutral, it stays straight. It engages those abdominal core muscles and you can feel them tighten up. Now up and up and down and down, up and up, down and down, halfway all the way, halfway all the way. I'm gonna slide it right to left. I can't move my hips or my shoulders, so I'm not gonna lift the shoulder up or drop the shoulder down. It's like somebody's poking me on the side. My hips are in center. My weight is rooted and grounded from the waist down. These leg muscles, I can feel my quads right now. They're going, hello, <laughs> activate me side to side. Good, let's take it around in a drill. So we're in our first position, rooted and grounded. Hold on to your thighs. So you're not gonna move your arms and hands and I'm out to the lower part of my, th or the upper part of my thighs. I'm like stretching my arms down, elbows out, relax your shoulders down. Pelvis and back is straight, knees are soft, weight equally distributed. Lift. So go from that slouch to a lift, smaller, faster. Up, 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 up. Now reverse, lift down, lift down, lift down, 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 down. Up and up and down and down. We go halfway all the way, halfway all the way, halfway all the way. Halfway, all the way, halfway, all the way. Good, let's slide it to the side. Without moving your hips, keep your hips in center. Your weight is equally distributed on both legs. You're not moving your shoulders. This is hard, so if you don't get it right away, you'll get it someday and believe that. Amen, Miss Melanie. Back to center, we're gonna box. Lift, side, down, side. Lift, side, down, side, lift. We're gonna make a full range of motion, slow motion, circle eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep it slow, full range of motion, muscle memory, muscle controls, doing it slow. Slow motion. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep your weight on both legs. We're doing vertical. Eight, seven, six, five. 
Good, swallow faster. Four, three, two. So keep your weight on both legs. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Smaller, faster. One, and two. Weight grounded on both legs. Five, six, seven. Box to the other side and lift. Side, down, side, lift, side down side that's it stay rooted and grounded don't give up you can do it it's a small box i'm not going to make it too big because then i'm going to want to shift my weight now big circle eight seven six five four three two one eight seven six five small i mean big big and slow Three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, smaller, faster, four count. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, smaller, faster, eight of them. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay rooted and grounded. That's the only way you're gonna be able to isolate in the beginning of your training. So get your legs in the right first position for the isolated isometric rib cage. All right, good job.